So if you're thinking about writing and publishing a book, here are some of the things I would recommend you think about first. The first is, are you ready to be an authority? Now, I know this may sound like a silly question because everyone thinks that they're ready, but when that spotlight comes on and you really are given the world's stage, there is a lot of personal, emotional, and psychological development that needs to occur for you to be ready for that. And so a lot of times people think they want the fame, the publicity, and then they get almost ready for it and then something in them breaks down or something in them self-sabotages. And so that's actually the first conversation I have with any author who says they wanna publish a book, is I say, are you really ready to take this all the way to the top? Because I don't believe in playing small. There's actually less competition when you go for the top authority. Most people are still in their insecurity and self-doubt and self-sabotage. And so if you're playing to the lower end of the market, that's actually where most of the competition is. So the way that I brand and do the strategy from the very beginning is how do we make you the authority, the number one authority, the go-to person that when someone says, oh, I have this problem, you're the first person that they think of. And so that really involves knowing I've done all the emotional, psychological, personal development work, and I also have the support of my family. That may sound weird, but if your family isn't behind you, then that can also be a part of the problems that you run into once all of these spotlights are turned on. So if you have realized I am ready to be the authority, I'm ready to turn on the spotlight, I've gone through all my own checks and balances for personal development, and now I'm ready to step into that spotlight. This is a very exciting place to be. You want to make sure you are surrounded by the right team. Because a lot of times, if you start a project and you don't end up with the right ghostwriter, or you don't have an editor who can support you, or you don't understand the marketing strategy, it becomes so draining and exhausting because you're spinning your wheels and trying to get something launched that doesn't have that cohesive strategy and that team around you from the very beginning. Publishing is a big deal and it is a lot of work. So you want to make sure that you've got the energy, you've got the momentum, you've got the team, and you've got that launch date. Set that launch date or else you will be one of those people who say, oh, I've been working on my book for five years. <laughs> You wanna set the launch date, you wanna to commit to it, and you wanna make sure you have the team, the energy, and the resources to make it happen. And you also wanna prioritize it. You know, this is your body of work. This is your name as an author that's going to be put into this book. And we want you to be seen as an authority, which means you want to make sure you have the time and attention to really devote to making this book a success. And I see a lot of people who just throw a book together and then they do some book in a weekend, become an Amazon bestseller gimmick. And the the things that they are putting out with their name on it actually lowers the credibility of their brand. It will actually disturb the audience and say, gosh, this person doesn't value their brand, doesn't value their reputation. And it, the, uh, the, the days of just throwing up a book and claiming you're an Amazon bestseller are over. We all know that's a gimmick. We all know it's a scam. And so you want to take the highest credibility and the highest standards. Anytime you put your name and your brand on a book, you want to make sure that it truly represents you at the highest level. So make time for that intention and put yourself in the purpose of saying, I want this book to take me all the way to the top, all the way to the top of the authority. And then once you're writing, enjoy it, have fun. I love to travel when I'm writing. I love to go on beautiful adventures. It creates 
creativity. You don't want to just be locked in your office trying to pound out a book. So really find ways that you can stay inspired, stay creative, so that it flows from you because that's how you create your best work. And then when it's time to really start thinking about publishing, make sure that you align with a publisher who has your best interests at heart. Look at the fine print. Look at the details of the agreement because a lot of people sign into publishing deals and then they later end up regretting it or saying, I wish I never would have taken that on. And so there's a lot that goes into publishing. And if you really put the time and attention and consideration into it, your book can be your greatest asset in business. I know I've built my businesses off books and I will continue to do so. And if you look at any of the top internet marketing launches that go to seven figures and beyond, they all start with a book. The book is that key of why are they an authority? Why are they changing the conversation and disrupting the paradigm? So the book is a critical piece of establishing you as an authority. And then when you combine it with the digital internet marketing launch, that's got a perfect formula for success. So it used to be that writing and publishing a book was a huge, arduous process, and that's why so few people were ever able to do it. But today, you can write, publish, get your book out there in 90 days. At Beverly Hills Publishing, we do everything for your book launch. We do the marketing, the publishing, and also the PR to get you that authority credibility in the press. It starts with the marketing strategy from the very beginning of knowing who is the market, what is the market searching for, and how do we serve the market exactly where they're looking. Then with the publishing, everything from the ghostwriting, the editing, the design, the cover, everything's all in-house. So you get that cohesive marketing, seamless strategy throughout the entire process. And then when we turn on the PR, it's very easy to say, hey Forbes or hey entrepreneur, we have a new Beverly Hills published author and this is what the, the message is all about. And so by having all of that inside of one firm, you have an integrated strategy that no other publisher will offer and no one else is doing this. Some of our success stories come in industries like investing, real estate, personal development, nutrition, anywhere there is a thought leader who is disrupting the status quo and evolving the conversation, then those are the authors who we partner with because Beverly Hills Publishing is also a disruptor in the publishing industry. And so we love to support thought leaders who are ready to evolve the conversation. If digital marketing hadn't evolved the way it has, I wouldn't have a business. I would never be able to know where is the market evolving and be able to disrupt an industry like publishing. And digital marketing is always going to be the cornerstone of every business that I launch and create because that's where humanity is happening. That's where humans are communicating. And being able to access the conversation in the real time, not in some delayed market survey or market analysis that can take months or even weeks to create. You wanna be able to be on the pulse of the market. What is happening right now? And it's happening by people on their phones all over the world, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And so being able to access that kind of data and that kind of insight is it's priceless. So if you're sitting there with an idea of how you can change the world or help people and you know that you're ready to get your message out there, one of the best things you can do is write a book. The book is going to establish your authority as a thought leader in that industry, and it's also going to attract people to your message.
So if you're just getting started and you know you're ready to write a book, but the idea is just overwhelming, I hope that you can really take some advice of how I wrote my first book. And it comes down to knowing who you want to serve. A lot of authors make the mistake of writing their book from their own perspective. They think about what they want to say versus what does the audience want to hear. And so by putting yourself into the mind of the audience and looking through it through their lens, now you'll be in a conversation. You're not gonna be in a monologue, you're gonna be in a dialogue, actually communicating and helping that person get to their desired solution. Once you have that perspective, now it comes a simple outline of what's a 10-step process that you can take someone through to get their achieved or desired result. You don't want to overwhelm them. You want to give them a transformation where they say, wow, that really worked. And now they want to follow you, trust you, and buy every book that you ever release.